Hey Glam Fam, welcome back. Okay, so today is gonna be a fun one. Um, we're gonna watch some throwback videos, some rare, rare sightings of Nene and Candy getting along. <laughs> um, Y'all know I watched the throwback queen a lot, um, especially when I used to react to like a lot of scenes from um, the old Real Housewives shows. You know, they always uploading all the iconic moments and even some of the random good key keys that we forget about. Um, so yeah, this is a moment from season four. Um, like I said, with Nene, Candy, and Cynthia all getting along. I believe this was when Nene was like looking for a house in LA or something. And um, Candy was pretty much saying she was trying, she was gonna be living above her means and all of that. And they were, they were actually getting along. They was the beach, had a good old time. So, yeah, we're gonna reminisce on the good old days today, and let's get into part one. There is three parts. Um, Y'all know it's gonna be one per video. Um, yeah, so let's get into part one. <laughs> well, thank you for inviting us, Nene. This is nice. Oh, well, thank you for coming. And <laughs> Can't you be so geek when Nene nice to her? <laughs> Do whatever it is that they want to 
watching. Why you think that her and Kim got they together? Are, they are. I had no issues with Sheree. So where did her issue come from? All of a sudden, you got this huge issue with me. Kim has an issue with me. Sheree has an issue with me. And guess what? They both can kiss my ass. It's a lot of bullshit. And I just don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. Those motherfuckers are shit and they're full of shit. Hey, if Nene wants to tell people she's rich, let Nene tell people she's rich. Everybody else talks about their money, big pop and this and that and the other. But it's not a problem. It's only a problem when Nene says it. I just want to have a good girls meeting. I don't want to discuss them at all. Well, what do you want to do? Don't start acting like a sourpuss. You ain't inviting me out to Miami and I'm not coming out here for you to be. Mm. Well, Why you mad that she don't want to talk about Sheree? Right. right. She being a sourpuss because she don't want to talk about Kimmy with Nene carefully. Nene has two sides. She has the real cool, fun side, but then she has this angry black woman side that just is ready to pounce. I don't want to talk about them in that night. Baby, um, she didn't have to say that. She could have said something a little different. But yeah, I don't really understand why Candy was just so, so hesitant with Nene, but she gave Kim chance after chance after chance, and Nene never really did anything that bad to her. And then she called her a sourpuss and said she was being negative because she didn't want to sit and talk about Kim and Sheree. If anything, you're the one being negative, bringing some drama up, and y'all was key key and having a good old time. Nene was in good spirit. She just don't want to talk about drama. How does that make her a sourpuss? That's <laughs> that's kind of the opposite. And I believe that is just why they'll never get along. Because even when stuff is good, it's always like some tension between the two of them. Whether it's from Nene, whether it's from Candy. Clearly in this scene, it was from Candy, but it has been from Nene sometimes too. I don't know. They. <sighs> they are just truly oil and water i guess <laughs> but yeah um uh, that was that y'all let me know what y'all thought about that and me and this raggedy bun will see y'all in part two stay happy healthy and all of that good stuff and i just said this <laughs> but i will see y'all in part two bye